Hi there. Welcome to today's practical planning tip by Park Bridge Wealth Management. My name is Jonathan Shankman, and I'm the president and chief investment officer of the firm. First and foremost, I hope, hope everybody enjoyed the Swift Bowl. Yes, I'm wearing this stunning blonde wig in her honor. And special congratulations to Travis Swift, Patrick Swift, Andy Reid Swift, and all the Kansas City Swifties on Taylor being your biggest cheerleader. Also, congrats on the Super Bowl win. It was a real nail biter. Anyway, for today's practical planning tip, I'm going to share some thoughts on sticking with your learning and financial resolutions. So it's a few weeks into the new year. By now, many people have probably given up already on their New Year's resolutions. The gyms are less crowded, Shockwood and Shul is emptier, and we're settling back into our old routines. Even if you're off, you're already off the bandwagon, don't throw in the towel yet um, on your goals. It's still early in the year and there's still hope. When it comes to goal setting and building healthy habits, there are some helpful tips to keep in mind. While I'm not a self-help coach or a motivational guru, I will spend the next few days highlighting some things that have worked for me when establishing goals for my finances and my Yiddishkeit. Like everyone, I'm still a work in progress, but my framework has been helpful as I've tried to build the right habits. First is to try to keep things simple. In life, it usually makes sense, the most sense to try to keep things simple. With too many components or choices, it's easy to get overwhelmed. Instead of focusing on the myriad of options available, just pick one or two sensible items. Applying this to Torah learning, just pick two from the many great shiurim and topics available to learn that you like to commit to sticking with. I personally try to learn Shnai Mikra Vecha Targum and the Dafiomi. I like the idea of having a set schedule, and both are easy to do from home or on the road. When it comes to personal finances, there are also many cool things out there. However, the determinant of success always comes down to sticking with the basics. The foundation of personal finance is simply one, spend less than you make. Two, invest your savings prudently in stocks or bond funds. The breakdown of this portfolio should be based on your time horizon. Three, ignore the noise, like what your friends and broke brother-in-law are doing. And four, stick with your strategy over the long term. Homing in on just a few items on which to focus your attention can lead to big results over time. And with that, I hope you found this practical planning tip helpful. Until next time, stay prudent, practical, and don't forget to plan ahead.